All right, guys, welcome to Uncle Buck's barn. I'm Uncle Buck, here's my barn. Uh, today, we're gonna do a project. Uh, we are gonna put a nice dumping box on the back of my golf cart. Uh, got a little pull behind lawn trailer that you use with your mower. Uh, gonna strip that down, use the box off it, uh, a couple brackets, and it's a pretty, should be a pretty easy little project. So, ought to be fun. Been wanting to do this for a while, so here we go. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, here is our dumping box. Uh, we're gonna drag this up to the barn. What we need to do is take the top off, uh, the axle off, and the tongue off. So let me drag this out and we'll rip her apart. Yes, sir. All right, now we see how uh, she fits. Next step is we're gonna cut this uh, bracket off for the axle and turn that 90 and that'll be our new hinge point for uh to make it dump and we're gonna end up mounting it right off the back so this us turn out to be a pretty simple little build uh perfect all right well i threw the box up there just so you guys can see what i'm talking about um you can see the clearance we got between the height of this and this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reinforce this lip, uh, probably put a solid piece of flat stock in there. And then the end of that bed is gonna just, underneath that lip is gonna ride right here. And that's just gonna give us a little bit of clearance. And also how they made this uh, trailer, it's two pieces they put together. Now we got the height of this which is basically gonna be the height of that. So when we push this over, that ridge will actually end up riding just over that frame. So uh, that's actually gonna work out well. And then with that hinge, there's the axle for the old trailer. It's just a hinge bracket. So we're gonna cut that off and then turn that 90 and uh, it just fits in between this back of the, the cart. So what we're gonna do is either make a bracket um, or go through the frame, but probably gonna just tack a bracket to that frame. And just with one large pin that goes through and puts this on. And that's basically it. That's a quickie. All right, guys, here's where what we came up with. Uh, from setting the box up there and uh, setting the bracket, the hinge bracket up in there, we needed two and three quarters from this back edge. So I measured that out, centered, uh, centered it to the box, and then I just marked all the holes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill these 12 holes, and then uh, the next step will be we're gonna sand it all out. So, give me a sec. All right, what I did is I took that axle bracket off. Uh, it was mounted, you know, this uh, opposite, going straight across. So I uh, turned that and remounted it. And I found the pivot point, which I wanted, which is probably offset now about five inches of center from where it should be but that'll put a little bit of forward pressure on the box to help keep it down. And it should still tip easy enough. And I also like, and I also like that the bracket came and supports almost the total back edge. And this thing fits, you can see how that's cut out. It's like it was actually made for this, that's crazy. So anyways, that's where we're at. We're gonna keep it, keep it at it. All right, we got it all mocked up. Uh, what I did is I marked it where that flange goes around the seat post where we just welded that piece of angle to it. So I'm gonna cut that out so it'll drop it right down and sit. This edge will sit flush right on that piece of angle. And then those two holes we drilled in that flat stock, um, what I did is ran the, the hinge pin and set this where I want and get the angle where I want and then uh, we're gonna weld it right to that frame um, I also 
mark this this piece of tin here we're gonna cut this off on the back side so we can get a good weld up against the frame on both sides so we got her all mocked up looks pretty good I'm happy with it so what we're gonna do is take it back apart and uh, cut that tin out and then um, cut that flange out then set her in there and then we're gonna weld it right to the frame so give me a couple minutes easier all right just cut that piece of tin out where we're gonna weld up this bracket on both sides and then I also notched uh, that little lip where it's gonna fit around um, the seat post and I'm hopefully gonna put a little thin piece of rubber strip on the top of that just for noise reduction but anyways everything's working out we're gonna hammer that out a little bit and uh, clean it up put this back on and uh, tack them brackets on all right well we got the side uh, ready to tack up and then we'll level the other side off and go from there All right, we got her tacked on up. And what a nice fit. Looks pretty good. So, there's nothing bolted on heavy or nothing, and it's solid. That's perfect. It doesn't look too bad. It's gonna look freaking awesome. Awesome. Anyway, all right, and this Abbey approved, so I think we're good. I ended up sliding that bracket back a little bit farther just to get these ears a little bit closer. Um, everything came out pretty tight, looks very nice. I got everything tacked in, so we just welded that ear on. And we uh, welded this ear on. Basically, just got it tacked. We still got to ground all the square edges off those ears. That's a definite shin buster. But I mean, just the clearance is crazy. It looks so like it was made for it. So, anyways, definitely happy with that. So, uh, take her back down and uh, paint it up. It looks good. One thing I do need is my axle could be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to still in search of a little bit thicker pipe. So other than that, it's, it is solid. So awesome. Looks pretty good. Yep. Looks pretty good. All right, we got her back together. Um, we got this plastic uh, tub insert in. And this is the only modifications that we made to the cart itself. Uh, one small ear that I welded right on the inside. And that bends that little plastic piece a little bit, but definitely livable for me. Okay, and then same thing with the other side. And I remounted the hinge on the bottom of the box just to push this bracket as far to the frame as we could. And I got it with as close as I could get it. Came out really nice. It dumps extremely easy. But that's the only modification with the exception where I notched that bar and we just welded a piece of angle to it uh, to hold up the one side. So. I'm gonna park this thing outside and uh, we'll put it together. It's one pin, very easy. So give me a sec. Well, all right, here she sits. Uh, came out pretty nice. Um, all in all, worked out well. We need to make a couple modifications. I ended up pushing 
that uh, axle hinge back a little by two inches. Um, I just liked how it sat better. We got it as the pins uh, as close to the frame as we could. As you can see. That's really the only modification, but she came out really nice. Uh, doesn't look too gaudy or nothing. I think it works out well. It dumps just extremely easy. Like I said, that is really the only modification because those two little ears you pull the pin and slide the axle out and that's the only thing holding it in this bar stays on back but that actually works out better because it allows me to tie down stuff when the bed's not in here and that rests up on there i'm going to definitely put a locking mechanism to add pressure to it just when it's down just to help a little bit of the just a little rattling um, and apply a rubber strip in between there. But all in all, man, it came out perfect. So still got to make the bat, the, the gate. Uh, but that's going to be another little project. I got to make a couple uh, corner brackets. Um, that's going to kind of go across here and flange out where I can bolt and uh, tack weld to each corner just to rigid that up. And then I'll cut that out and we'll make a gate but yeah she it just it couldn't have worked out any better operate so smooth very nice yes sir one more quick little walk around Almost looks like it was made that way. Well, anyways, hope you guys liked it. All right, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in to Uncle Buck's Barn. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little project. Uh, it went pretty well. Came out very nice, looks really good. Uh, operates exceptionally well, so. Uh, I'd say another success story, as my old man would say. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit like, subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, maybe you've seen something that I could have did a little differently. Um, but anyways, quick little project, and until uh, the next time, we'll see you guys around.